Hi friends, this is Kenin. Today we are going to see about how to convert a VHD to a VHDX hard disk in Hyper-V. So what is mean by VHD and VHDS hard disk? So both are the virtual hard disk. The VHD is a successor of the VHDS. VHDX is the successor of the VHD hard disk and it supports a more than 2048 GB of storage that is the maximum space which was supported was 64 GB of storage in VHDX virtual hard disk and VHD does not support resilient because of its make but VHDX supports the resilient the of failure events and it also supports uh, server 2012 and 2012 R2 and it also supports the fixed and the dynamic allocation so let's create a VHD hard disk and later we can convert it to a VHDX with the help of the Hyper-V so in order to create a VHD you just need to go to the manage and here go to the disk management and here go to action and here you can see an option called create VHD just select this option and browse for a location to save the hard disk I'm going to use the location that is VM inside CentOS VHD and name it VHD virtual hard disk and save it so I'm going to allocate about 2 GB and the virtual artist format which I am going to select is a VHD and let's make it as dynamically expanding since this is the VHD I am going to select as a fixed set because I am not going to install the operating system inside it so let it be the fixed size so select OK now let's go to the location and here you can see a 2 GB of VHD hard disk was created so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this VHD into VHDX hard disk so go to Hyper-V manager here you can see an option called edit disk so go to edit disk and here go to the next step and select the hard disk which you need to convert I'm going to select that VHD hard disk which I have created so open the hard disk go to next here it is showing that this disk cannot be edited so if you see in this way you cannot create a virtual hard disk and you cannot edit it using the Hyper-V manager so let's go for another option so I'm going to cancel this so go to the Hyper-V manager and go to new option here you can create a hard disk so select next so here you can see an option called VHD so I'm going to select VHD so go to next let it be a fixed size so I'm going to browse uh, I'm going to save it in the same location actually Okay, uh, select the folder and let it be the new virtual hard disk. I will rename it as Hyper-V Hyper-V VHD disk. So, go to next. Here, I <coughs> 
I'm going to create a minimum of 4 GB and just select next and these are the settings there is a configuration which you are going to create select finish so it is creating the new virtual hard disk so if you go here and see a new Hyper-V virtual hard disk has been created I have created this hard disk using the Windows 10 default disk management options but it was not able to convert so I am using the Hyper-V manager itself for creating it and here you can see it was created successfully so it was created about 4 GB so now let's go to the edit option go to next and here select the virtual hard disk which was created using the Hyper-V go to next here you can use the option called convert this option was used for converting the virtual hard disk to VHDX select next here you can see the format which you need to convert I am going to select VHDX select next and let it be the fixed size and select next and I was asking for the storage location I'm going to select the same storage location the name new VHDX disk so save it and select next so I'm going to convert the virtual hard disk from the format VHD to VHDX both us fix the size so select finish so it was editing the virtual hard disk let's go and see what is happening there so if you see a new hard disk has been created here So it does take much time to copy. And it was finished. And you can see a size difference of about 95 KB here. So this is how you will convert a virtual hard disk from VHD to VHDX format. And you can see I have created a virtual hard disk from a Windows disk management option but it was not converting so while I created the virtual hard disk from the VHD to VHDX from using the Hyper-V it was working properly so from this tutorial you can learn something about the virtual hard disk about converting and in my previous video you could have seen about compiting the virtual hard disk. In my next video, I will explain you about how to come expand the virtual hard disk from a limited size to a another size. So, thank you for watching the video.